Hey everyone, this is John over at Shore Cycles. Today we're looking at the Kimco Mongoose 270 Sport ATV. And this is a 2021 model. They're doing these in the black, the yellow graphics, and then flip it and they do a yellow as well. All the yellow body with some black accents. This is a Sport ATV. So, same style as most Sport ATVs. High clearance on the fenders. Tires we'll get into in a minute. Um, but yeah, a lot of suspension travel and it's designed for you know, ripping the trails and having a blast on it. Uh, 270cc model is going to be rated for uh, ages 14 and up officially. Uh, so just keep that in mind. This is a 270cc liquid cooled four stroke engine. So most of Kimco's ATVs are air cooled. This is more of your performance quad. I should say their smaller ATVs are, are air cooled. Their, their bigger ones are liquid cooled as well. But this, this adds liquid cooling. Uh, like the full size so yeah if you're really ripping it up hot weather summertime it's going to stay cooler better with the liquid cooling um it's not a horizontal engine it's more of a vertical style cylinder setup uh claimed horsepower is 21.8 and it is a four stroke so no mixing gas or oil anymore like the old two-stroke engines i talk about the tires a lot in the kimco videos and they use branded tires so these are the Maxxis Razor tires. So it's the tire that people love to have on their sport quads, super high quality rubber. They hook up great. You got the standard uh, sport pattern in the rear, with the symmetrical block pattern, and then you have the linear pattern in the front. So it tracks well in softer terrain, sand especially, and, and mud. These are just a good all around tire from the Razor uh, made by Maxxis. And looking at the suspension, these shocks are, are just so beefy. Tons of suspension travel, really big spring, and you see they are uh, preload adjustable on the front there. Independent shocks in the rear, and then around back, back you get the solid big mono shock inside the swing arm there. And again, it does have a spanner nut so you can adjust it for preload and then up front you got a bumper bar so it protects the engine and the radiator got the a-arm set up over here again really nice and strong and then good upgrade on this thing is disc brakes so you got disc brakes on the front on each wheel so no drums you got disc on the front you got disc in the rear and just look at how big this disc brake is on the rear I mean, it blows me away for the price point, the quality that Kimco puts in their ATVs. Nice beefy swing arm. Looks like the swing arm you'd see on bigger sport and race quads. Nice size chain. Looking like a 520, 525, something like that. But yeah, nice big beefy chain. Kimco does not cheap out anywhere. And that's especially noticeable here in the rear drive system, swing arm and all that. Easy access to the reservoir for the coolant. I really like that. Really easy to see. We got uh, full and low specs. Tail light right here, muffler on the left side. And you do have a single headlight up front. So I always like to see lights on the quad just to extend the riding time, especially in the winter. Shifter on the side here. It is two wheel in the back, of course, in a sport quad in the engine size, two wheel drive in the rear. Uh, you have forward, neutral, and reverse shifters nice and out of the way. I like that. Not gonna interfere with your riding position or anything. Controls, you have the standard setup on the right side. Thumb throttle, restrictor screw, so keep that in mind if you wanna slow it down for the kids. You do have your restrictor screw. Left side, you got the light switches, kill switch, and your starter button. Master cylinder, visible for both the left and right brakes. Of course, left brake uh, does your rear, right brake does your front, like a motorcycle or scooter. Uh, you got the temperature light. Uh, high beam indicator, neutral light, and your reverse. You have on, off, and then you have an accessory switch there as well. Standard gas cap on an ATV sport quad, just a regular plastic spin off. Nice big seat, plenty of room so you can shift positions on this thing really easily, get in the spot that you need to for the traction you need. Very, very comfortable seat. And you see the foot setup, they give you the foot pegs with a little bit of support behind, gives you a lot more room to maneuver and move around on a sport quad if you're doing woods riding and stuff like that. 
you can always add nerf bars and more protection if you're going to go that route but a lot of uh, maneuverability on this thing between the seat and the foot pegs really nice upgrade there is the frame extension to protect the engine you see this frame is nice and solid it scoops all the way under the engine you have a skip plate up front there protecting on the steering and you have that extension continue over on both sides of the motor there's your fill for the oil four stroke and then you have a high low sight glass very easy to see i like that um no dipstick to worry about pulling out you always can see where your oil is at japanese key hen carburetor there really important to notice these again kimco does not cut corners to hit a price point and we love it here petcock accessible right there good shroud for the sprocket front sprocket cover so it's protected it is electric start like we talked about with the uh button on the handle uh you do not get a backup starting method on this one so do keep that in mind probably just based on the compression of the motor and stuff like that uh they didn't run a a pull starter a kickstarter there so keep your battery on a tender uh carbureted vehicle remember ethanol free gasoline if you can if not use a quality stabilizer and ethanol treatment and pricing on this thing 39 49 msrp so under four grand for a really high quality 270 cc atv um i don't think the video really does it justice as to the size of it um this thing is not a little tiny kids atv it's a full-size quad it has the stance the suspension size and travel and room for an adult rider you could definitely have a lot of fun on this thing kimco has another industry leading one year parts and labor warranty so no no 30 or 90 day coverage on this thing you get a full one year of factory protection parts and labor nationwide dealer network so no matter where you travel you have dealers across the country that can get parts and warranty support for you and excellent financing options from Kimco as well. They work with nationwide industry leading banks, just like the big OEMs. So we can get easy financing right in the dealership. Hope you found this video informative. Taking a look at the Mongoose 270. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Helps us out a lot. Find more information on our website, shorecyclesusa.com. Also on social media, Facebook and Instagram, at shorecycles. You can always give us a call at the store too. It's 443-291-3030. We're on the eastern shore of maryland centrally located two hours from dc and baltimore two and a half three from philly two and a half from norfolk virginia if you think about making the drive give us a call we're easy to get to from the mid-atlantic region and we can also deliver these things for you in the region as well but thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one